describe TCL, it's one of the largest consumer electronics and home appliances manufacturer. We have 70,000 people all over the world, 10 R&D centers, 20 manufacturing bases, and we are present with 80 sales offices in the world. Wow. So this one I'm not going to detail too much, but just to give you a flavor, flavor of it, this is TCL Corporation. You have different subsidiaries. One is TCL Multimedia Technology Holding, which is uh, in charge of TV. It's uh, listed in Hong Kong. As sold in, in, 20, in 13, last year, has sold 18 million TVs worldwide, among them 17 million LCDs. In the group we have as well TCT, or TCL Communication Technology, which is in fact selling mobile, mobile phones, tablets, and smartphones, operating on, under two brands, TCL and Alcatel One Touch. China Star Opto Opto Electronic Technology, CSOT, we'll talk about it a little bit later on. We are as well operating in the home appliances, selling air conditioning, refrigerators, washing machines, and we have TCL Tony, which is a spin-off of TCL Multimedia, which is so, actually a very big player yeah, in Blu-ray, uh, DVD and audio-video products. So we think at TCL that to be a key player in the TV industry, you have to be vertically integrated, meaning that you have to be able to control the panel. You have to be able to, be able to produce a panel. If you look at the three top players in the world, they all are producing their own panel. So, in 2009, TCL has decided to become a panel manufacturer. Mass production started in October 2011. Last year, we sold more than 21 million panels and modules worldwide. But that's not the end of the story. It's only the first phase, making us already the first, the biggest LCD panel producer in China. We have plans to extend our capacity. So in 2015, we will have in service a new factory, panel factory, which will be 70% dedicated to LCD, 30% to OLED. And there will be a third phase, but this one we will go, uh, we will inform you later on. Well, I told you that the top three players, all of them are Bestel. manufacturing panel. TCL belongs to the top three, according to this research. I said we have sold 17, 000, 17 million LCD last year, making us number three, according to this research, with a market share of 6.5% worldwide. We are as well uh, ranking number five in global mo mobile phone market with uh, our mobile phones uh, sold under Alcatel One Touch and TCL brand. In Europe, what are our targets? We want to grow further our position in all European markets with focus on top five markets, which are for us, for us the most important ones. So starting with France, Poland, Spain, Italy, and Germany. And one of our key targets for us is to be one, become one of the top three brands in the UHD segment in key European markets in the next years. Of course, we want to keep a healthy and profitable growth. So, now, starting from consumer point of view, always important to keep in mind what they are looking for when they are buying a TV. It's quite obvious, no surprise for everybody, but very important to remind. Most important purchasing criteria, number one, is experience a better picture quality. Second one, 
consumers to have a larger screen size. Number three, approximately the same level as number two. It's a beautiful design. Number four is to be able to connect my TV to internet. Number five is to be able to watch a movie in 3D. Looking at this, we think that UHD 4K is really meet, meeting the key expectations of customers. That's the reason why we really believe in the development of UHD segments all over the world, including in Europe. And we're supported by bringing a large number of products, a large number of series, addressing different price points, and addressing different screen sizes, from 40 inch up to 110 inch. In Europe, we operate with two brands. We have a dual branding strategy. Thomson being the dedica uh, brand dedicated to the Euro European market. We have a clear target in terms of customers. We target families, people more than 35 years, mainstream family families. And we have very clear brand attributes for the brand that we have measured by consumer <laughs> insight. Quality and trust, the family brand, Thomson is a family brand, it's strong heritage, it's a TV brand, and it's offer a good value for my consumer. So the core messaging for us when we bring Thomson products to the market is bringing unsurpassed value to consumers. What will be our 2014 range, taking into account consumer expectations? So we will bring or we are bringing now three ranges of PhD products, six products altogether. We will bring in H2 2014 curved UHD LED TVs. We'll go more into the details. Most of our products are smart, so we have 14 ranges which are connected accounting with 33 products. Let's focus a little bit on Google. UHD. So we have already brought to the market the WM9 range, which has 50 inch and 55 inch screen sizes. Prices are approximately 1,300 for the 50 inch, 1,500 euro for the 55 inch. We are bringing to the market now a new series stated of the picture quality, the 7Z8 Z, series, which has three screen sizes, 49 inch, 55 inch, and even 85 inch. 85 inch will be available in July. In terms of pricing, 40, 49 inch is around 1,400 euro, 55 inch, 1,600 euro, 85 will be launched at 9,000. We are bringing as well a 65 inch under the name of Z7 that we bring we brought to the market in May 2014 at a price point of 2,500 euro. Z8 and Z7 will be HDCP 2.2 compatible products. Last but not least, at FIFA we will unveil our curved LED PhD TV, a 65 inch. That will be available to the market in Q4 2014.